Welcome back to daytime, everyone. Food blogger and fabulous cook, Rochelle Lucas is here, and she's got the perfect dish for spring. It involves cantaloupe and honeydew. Rochelle here travels the country visiting inns, and she picks up recipes from the chefs along the way. Good to I have you do. back, Rochelle. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we've got the uh, the melons here, but we let's do. talk about where we got this recipe first. I got this recipe from the Stonehurst Place Bed and Breakfast in Atlanta. I had the opportunity to go there this uh, winter, and it was the coldest day in Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, what a beautiful um, but this is a beautiful spot. springtime shot, what it would look like now. And uh, there we are now. That's me and my fiance, Pete. Hey, we are Pete. there. Cute. And we indulged in so many good foods, good southern foods. When we were in Atlanta, we had um, some grits and we had some fried green tomatoes and all those things that Atlanta's known for. So when I asked the B&B, the innkeeper there, for a recipe, I said, give me something healthy Please. that I can go into the spring with. So this is a really easy, healthy recipe that she usually serves as a first course. Because when you go to Sternhurst Purse Place, you usually have three courses and it's all gourmet. Ooh, and, and melon, is, is this not is. supposed to cleanse the palate? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and sometimes it's just you have it between courses too, you right? You can have it between courses or it's something refreshing you could do for breakfast, you could do it as a snack, you could do it mm. as dessert if you're wanting to save on calories, Lovely. you know, getting into um, summertime here. But what makes this special is the sauce that goes on it. And I could really drink this, it's so good. Oh. Um, it's basically um, lime, ginger, and honey. So oh we've got my. about a half a cup of honey. And I'm mm -hmm. gonna get started with it here. Yeah. I'm going to pour the honey in, so it's a wonderful. half a cup of honey, and we're going to zest some limes, so we're going to zest one lime and then use the juice from two limes, and while I'm doing that, why don't you get you um, started with the melon there and just scoop I it into will. some melon balls. I'll start making the melon balls over here. And I'm going to put the lime in, and something that makes it a little easier, if you're looking to save some time, you can fr you can uh, grate fresh ginger, which I prefer, because it's really strong and really fresh, and you, all you do is cut it and you use a uh, fresh grater, you can't um, beat such fresh. as this. Mm -hmm. Fresh is great, but if you're looking to save some time they do sell um, some grated ginger already grated in your produce department. I think if, I have some of that at home. <laughs> it's wonderful. It saves you some time. So I'm going to use that since we're uh, on time yeah. this morning. So what was the name of that inn again? Because that is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's the Stonehurst Inn. Stonehurst. And it's right in downtown. Mm. What I love about it too is it's so close to Piedmont Park, Ooh. which is right downtown there. So it doesn't you can... look like it's downtown. It looks like it's out in the country somewhere. I know. I know. Well, Piedmont Park is just beautiful. It's mm. huge and it's it's a great place to walk around. They've got some great art festivals coming up here in the spring where you can uh, eat yummy food and then uh, walk off the calories That's in the park important. there. Yes, if you're going to eat like that, you might as well take advantage of the park and walk, walk, walk. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm squeezing the fresh lime in here. Nice. I'm going to whisk this together. And then typically you'd put this in your refrigerator and let it go overnight for about um, 12 hours. So that way it gets nice and marinated. Mm. Um, also, something else you could do with this is if you want, if you've got some left over at the end of the night, if you want to make a soup out of it, so you could um, puree it the next morning, so and and make a nice like cold citrus soup. How come um, your balls are round and my balls are half? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta really dig in there and get it and get in there. Uh, it usually has a little uh, little trick to the melon baller. Yeah, I don't have the uh, to melon ball knack. Absolutely. And then something else you could do as well is add some champagne oh. or some vodka and make a nice um, summer drink with this oh, if you want to puree like it. The so sound there's of like that. three different. What I love about it is it saves you time because there's three different ways you can use this recipe. Uh, you could just use it for breakfast. You could use it as a snack, or you could. Uh, make some fancy drinks with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Okay, that looks this is really the honey, ginger, and lime. Mm, oh my Doesn't goodness, it look looks great. so refreshing. And take just a finger full of that and taste that. Oh yes? Um, taste that sauce and tell me what you think. Here. I'll yeah. Mm, I could eat my finger. Isn't That's it so great? Good. That is so I good. love it. So I'm just going to oh. mix this up here and uh, you know what? Let's actually try the dessert. I've actually got some here pre-made. All right. I've been eyeing little, that in a cute little glass, and there's some forks right there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Isn't that fabulous? Yes, I like the look so of it. So you get the lime. If you wanted to make it fancy, you could put a little mint, a little lime, and uh, serve it in your... Uh, and the perfect ball, too. I Rochelle, know, isn't you, that perfect? You know what you're doing here. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, that is amazing. Mmm. I love the sauce. The sauce is really what makes it. And yeah. you could add some champagne and make a nice little drink, too, at the end of the night. Honey, ginger, and lime. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh. Rochelle Lucas, thank you very job. much. Find thank that you. website. I mean, yes, find the recipe on our website, daytimeonline.tv. Just ahead, I have got a big melon ball in my mouth. <laughs> For your viewing pleasure, Sam takes a look at what's new on DVD. We'll be right back.